good team exclusive welcome to the first game uh, or the first episode in the small thief youtubers cup of course as promised uh, i did want to show my perspective and my commentary over the game um I i've left the link in, in the description below to x-ray hawks channel so if you do want to check out the full live collaboration between me and c11 uh obviously for the first game do go check out uh, go, go check out his channel the video should be up there um but yeah so as obviously mentioned we are playing c11 um he was using houston dynamo very interesting team I, I didn't know too much about it prior going into this game and i still don't really know too much about it besides um i would say they're an equal opposition to plymouth argyle um plymouth argyle are not a great team uh, obviously from what you can see on screen this was the team i was i was rocking with um i tried to use the players i had at, you know to my advantage but like the, the average rating is about 62 so it's um it's pretty bad it's pretty bad we've obviously got mccormick and goal watts opaku center backs um opaku being obviously if you've been watching the career mode um our standout left back but he's obviously playing center back because i'm a rat uh we've got Moore and edwards fullbacks um mcleod mcleod center mid with reeves and then kamada the uh you know beast career mode player up at cam with uh Ye Yefkot and Nubal with Hardy up top. Um, basically, yeah, the, the, the best players... We'll start the gameplay as well. Um, best players I had were Hardy and Nubal. I mean, I, I tried to... I don't know. I, I tried to use who I had and it was just garbage. But um, what I found really important was to have some consistency. Because obviously I'd play a 4 2 3 one on Ultimate Team. And then we switch up to a 4 triple 2 in game go a bit more attacking and obviously with the custom tactics puts a little bit more pressure on um so yeah just try to keep a bit more consistency really with the with the way i play what a goal by nubo as well what an absolute tank never mind <laughs> but here we go so game start and match let's go um yeah it was a really interesting game it's the first my first ever collaboration on youtube so it was a little a little bit of a weird experience um for me anyway and you know it's one of those it's like it's an exciting experience and i'm really pleased with, to be a part of it but uh obviously it was quite a little bit nerve-wracking as well i just don't deal with pressure very well and uh that could be my biggest flaw in any kind of competition just uh any amounts of pressure but um yeah it was a really good experience and i'm really looking forward to doing some more what a good flick by by hardy um so yeah but uh, here we go with Nubal breaking on through. Gets his first shot off. And then uh, Yefcock just, oof. Like, I mean, in fairness, the, the goalkeeper just, uh, just just parried it out to us. And then Yefcock was there to, uh, to, to pick up the rebound. Um, I hadn't really watched the game back until today. So it's going to be interesting to see what, actually what happens. Because there's a few moments I think um, are actually really interesting. And I do want to say that, you know, C11 was actually a really good play. He put himself down a lot in the game. Saying he wasn't great, but um, you know, he was actually decent. To be fair, he was decent uh, and definitely gave Plymouth Argyle a really good match. Good through ball, obviously a bit of lag. The connection not great. Me in England, him in America, uh, I do believe. Um, so the connection was uh, was red, and it was uh, yeah, it was pretty tragic, as you can tell. Houston Dynamo was an interesting team. Like I said, I didn't know too much about it, and um, I still I still don't. But they did have some dangerous players up top. Which were a bit too pacey for my uh, my defence or my liking anyway. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've been doing a career mode with Plymouth Argyle. And uh, it didn't really help me for this game. That was a good ball as well. He actually gets there as well. The keeper just absolutely having a mare. Yeah, it didn't really help much because obviously I don't play with the native Plymouth Argyle team. I've changed it a lot and got a lot of icons to make the team better. But um, yeah, it was, a really, it was a tough, tough experience to be fair because they're not great. They're really bad, Plymouth Argyle. Like they're really bad. Even though, like, I don't know. The thing is, you'll come up against equal opposition where... That's a good ball. Oh, we, wow, how did I not score that? Damn. Damn, should have done more with that. But that was a good ball. Good little shot by Nubal. Again, one of the best players we've got, to be fair. Just pace. He's got the shooting. Well, I mean, I say he's got the shooting. He's got, like, 58 shooting. But still, because, uh, yeah, Plymouth Argyle like are just not great. That's a good ball as well. Good save by the keeps. Yo, it hits the post. Let's go. That's mad. We got really lucky there, to be fair. Really, really lucky. Oh, it's Kamara there. Oh, it's not even Nubal. I couldn't even tell who I've got my own team. Yeah, Kamara's been really good. 
Like, I mean, one of the best players we've got, which is not saying a lot. I did try and do some seasons um, training with Plymouth Argyle, but you can't find a match. But on PC, there's a limited amount of players anyway. But it, like playing with a one-star team, it's just almost impossible to find a match. So, yeah, I couldn't really practice at all um, with the team. But, I, I mean, I felt like I've played with a lot of really weird players before. Um, like... I don't know if you'll be seeing this before or after, but recently we were playing with um, Fellaini up at Striker, the new 91 team in season Fellaini, and uh, we obviously played with Tamori up at Striker, played with a lot of goalkeepers, so I feel like I'm quite accustomed playing playing really bad players. Um, and it, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'd probably rather play with goalkeepers than this team. It was probably a lot a lot better of an experience. There's a good bit of passing play. Kamara, what can he do? She's being absolutely bullied right now, you know, um, as you may have just seen then, I switched over to attacking and I do that quite a lot in the games and um, not to give anything away, but I do it because I I don't see the point of going defensive. Um, if you go attacking and especially the way I've got the custom custom tactic set up to like put pressure on heavy touches and all that, that um, people when they go down, they usually go attacking as well. That was a good ball. Oh, what a header. He's got a 50p head though. Um, yeah, so when you go attacking and put a little bit more pressure on, it seems to kind of counteract people's, um, them going, you know, pressing and, and attacking all that. So you can get a few more chances. It's a good ball as well. Goalkeepers rise to it. Um, yeah, and it seems to work really well. Like the midfield, the way, again, the way I've got it set up, the, the midfield kind of just, just kind of go at the attack uh, and just try and pick up everything they can, they can get. So they put a lot of pressure on, on the midfield. And it doesn't really leave a whole lot of space. So I, I just find it a lot better than going... I've never gone defensive. I don't really see the point of it. He was saying that. He's got a good break on through. Sweats it across. Goal, oh, goalkeeper had, an, had another mare, but couldn't get on the end of it. And just unlucky not to score that, to be fair. We left exposed. Anyway, on the break with Reeves. Gets another good ball into the back stick. Heads it to... I don't know if that was a pass or a shot. And another rebound, which we take advantage of with Nubel. Uh, picking up the header, just putting it into the back of the net on the 45th, 45th, might have been the 46th, I can't remember how much overtime there was, but uh, yeah, 45th minute goal, you do love to see it, just, um, I don't know, it, it's one of those, it's like, the teams are so bad, it just seems to like, you just pick up rebounds left, right and centre, um, so, yeah, crazy, crazy, but we are 2-0 up, so very, very good stuff, you do love to see it. Another good tackle by, I don't know who that was for you. Reeves with a good pass on through for Hardy to get on through uh, with a bit more pace. Good little chip over the top for Yefcock. Takes the shot and it's actually a good save. And he didn't just parry it out to my uh, one of my players this time. You love to see it. Another good header by Yefcock. Um, Yefcott? Yefcock? Have I been calling him Yefcock? I don't actually know, to be honest. Um, he's been a good player, to be fair. I think he's one of our... Um, backup strikers for Plymouth actually but he seems to be doing quite well at Cam fortunately for, but like it's those things it's like you know the team is dangerous <clears throat> team is dangerous if you can get like a good through ball on through like this again there's just pace in the back to uh, get it through oh what a good little through ball over as well and you love to see it Yefcock making it three um, I think that was that's our first like kind of legitimate goal we've scored which is a bit sad to say Bit sad to say the, the previous two have just been rebounds. Um, so yeah, it kind of sucks, but uh, that was a good bit of play to be fair. If I do do myself a little bit of whatever, I think that is probably our weakest area. Is obviously, I mean, again, the, the the whole team is weak, but like the weakest weakest area of the team is probably the uh, the defense. I mean, he just got like RKO'd out of nowhere. Holy, um, yeah, the weakest part of the field, like you can just see it then. Uh, it's a good save. You, you know, he definitely should have scored that. Uh, he's had his chances, to be fair. It's just unfortunate. Uh, but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the... Um, it's a good ball as well. Yefcock, hold on. Yefcock breaking on through. What can he do? He's tried to be taken out. He's just... He's crumbled. He's had a... He's, he's bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. Um, yeah, our weakest area of the team is just the defence. Like, again, a through ball on through. And uh, if they're caught off guard, they're just so slow, man. They're like, it's average of like 50 pace. Um, and I'm, you know, most teams are probably going to be like that because we're running like two star teams. But um, 
yeah, it's just not good. Like, it's where you've just got to you've just got to score more than your opponent, I suppose, haven't you? It's really that's all there's there is to it. Kamara, Kamara though picking up the loose ball with Hardy breaking on through. It's a good shot. I actually thought that was in. I couldn't even remember what happened. Jesus Christ! Another good through ball on through. Really putting some pressure on. Really getting in those dangerous areas right now. Takes the shot. Another good save by McCormick. Um, you know, two shots straight at him. You you love to see it. He's doing his job, man. Doing his job. You love to see it. Oh, he went for the bite. I remember that. I remember that. I was a I respect it. I respect I respect the effort for going for the bicycle kick. You love to see it. Probably would have just rage quit if that had uh, actually paid off. And there we go. So end of the game it is. Uh, we obviously do pick up a 3-0 win, which I think is quite good to be fair. Because obviously, um, if need be, it does go on to, you know, goals scored or goals difference or whatever you call it. Um, so 3-0 could be could be a, a good shout. Obviously, we could have it could have been 3-2 um very easily but McCormick making a few good saves but there we go that's how that's how it ends I do want to say a massive shout out I will leave his link in the description below as well as X-Ray Hawks channel uh link as well uh to C11 go check him out he's a really sound solid dude uh and obviously a, a big a big thanks for the game it was actually really really good fun um so yeah you know definitely one to look out for in the tournament I think I think again like he said he, he said he wasn't very good but I think he was definitely a lot better than he put on in those final moments of the game there was a lot of pressure that definitely could have resulted in a couple of goals um so you know i i think i think he could do bits i think he could do bits either way that's how it ended that's how it ended we are obviously uh, looking quite good with our first win on the board um obviously it'd be interesting to see who else kind of picks out a win and what the matchups are looking forward so um definitely go go follow x-ray hawk for those uh, kind of announcements and those future games be interesting to see uh i think if the ajax guy is still in it see how far he goes um but yeah what a game what a game like I say it was really interesting playing with plymouth because they are a tragic team to play with like one star rated team it was awful uh but i think they performed quite well i think they performed quite well um so yeah there we go hopefully you guys have enjoyed of course if you have please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content and you haven't already please do consider that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family but with that said I do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time